Cancer is a word that no one wants to hear, especially as a diagnosis. Yet, in our power, we hold numerous keys to significantly reduce the risk of ever hearing it. This video isn't about guarantees or medical miracles. It's about empowerment, about taking simple, actionable steps to protect our health. Together, we'll explore 10 lifestyle changes that can dramatically lower our cancer risk, backed by science and endorsed by health experts. 1. Eat a healthy diet. A diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins can significantly reduce your risk of cancer. These foods are rich in nutrients and antioxidants that protect your cells from damage. Conversely, processed foods, red meat, and foods high in saturated fat have been linked to an increased risk of cancer. Incorporating a variety of colors on your plate ensures you're getting a wide range of protective nutrients. Think of your diet as your first line of defense. Every healthy choice is a step toward cancer prevention. Drinking plenty of water and limiting sugary drinks can also aid in maintaining a healthy weight, further reducing your cancer risk. 2. Stay physically active. Exercise plays a pivotal role in maintaining a healthy weight, which can lower your risk of various types of cancer, including breast, prostate, lung, colon, and kidney cancer. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate aerobic activity or 75 minutes of vigorous activity each week, coupled with strength training exercises. Physical activity doesn't have to be strenuous. Activities like walking, cycling, or yoga can be equally beneficial. Regular exercise helps regulate hormone levels, including insulin and estrogen, and helps the body manage stress, inflammation, and reduce body fat, all of which are associated with cancer risk. 3. Avoid tobacco. Using any form of tobacco puts you on a collision course with cancer. Smoking has been linked to various types of cancer, not just lung cancer. Quitting smoking or avoiding it altogether is one of the most significant cancer prevention measures you can take. It's never too late to quit. The benefits of quitting begin to accumulate right away, with your body starting to repair the damage caused by smoking within just a few hours. If you're looking for support to quit, numerous resources and cessation programs are available to help. Four, Limit alcohol consumption. While moderate alcohol use has its place in some diets, excessive drinking can significantly increase your risk of cancer, including in the breast, liver, colon, and lungs. Limiting alcohol to one drink per day for women and two for men not only reduces your risk of cancer, but also benefits your overall health in numerous ways, such as reducing the risk of heart disease. Alcohol can act as an irritant, especially in the liver and colon, leading to inflammation and scarring that can increase cancer risk. If you choose to drink, do so in moderation. 5. Protect your skin from the sun. Skin cancer is one of the most common and preventable forms of cancer. Protecting your skin from the sun's harmful UV rays is crucial. Seek shade between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m., when the sun's rays are strongest, wear protective clothing, and apply broad-spectrum sunscreen with an SPF of 30 or higher. Avoid tanning beds and sun lamps, as these can be more harmful than the sun. Regular skin checks can help detect skin cancer early when it's most treatable. Remember, a tan might look healthy, but it's actually a sign of skin damage. 6. Get regular medical care. Regular screenings for various types of cancers such as skin, colon, cervix, and breast, can increase your chances of discovering cancer early when treatment is likely to be more effective. Besides screenings, be proactive about understanding your body and recognizing any unusual changes, such as lumps or unexplained weight loss, and consult a healthcare provider about these concerns. Additionally, Maintaining a relationship with your healthcare provider can help you stay updated on the latest recommendations for preventative care and screenings based on your personal health history. 7. Vaccinate. Vaccinations can protect against certain viral infections that can lead to cancer. Human papillomavirus, HPV, vaccine helps prevent most cervical cancers, 
as well as several other types of cancer. The hepatitis B vaccine can reduce the risk of liver cancer. These vaccines represent powerful tools in the fight against cancer and are recommended as part of routine vaccinations for children and adults at risk. By vaccinating, you're not just protecting yourself, you're also contributing to the broader public health effort to reduce cancer incidence and the burden of this disease. Eight, avoid risky behaviors. Engaging in safe sex and avoiding the sharing of needles are critical steps in preventing infections that can increase the risk of cancer. Human papillomavirus, HPV, which can be transmitted sexually, is associated with cervical and other genital cancers as well as squamous cell cancers of the head and neck. Hepatitis B and C, often spread through infected needles or unprotected sex, can lead to liver cancer. Practicing safe sex and avoiding the sharing of needles can significantly reduce your risk of these viral infections and thus the cancers associated with them. 9. Get enough sleep. Adequate sleep is essential for overall health and may also play a role in cancer prevention. Disruptions in the body's internal clock caused by shift work, poor sleep hygiene, or not getting enough sleep, can lead to an increased risk of cancer. Strive for 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep per night, maintaining a regular sleep schedule and creating a restful sleeping environment. Sleep supports the immune system, helps regulate hormone levels, and promotes repair and growth of the cells, all of which are crucial for preventing cancer. 10. Manage stress. While the direct link between stress and cancer is not clear, managing stress effectively can improve your overall health and potentially reduce your risk of cancer. Chronic stress can lead to unhealthy coping mechanisms, such as smoking, overeating, or heavy drinking, which increase cancer risk. Techniques such as mindfulness, meditation, regular physical activity, and seeking support from friends, family, or professionals can help manage stress. By maintaining a balanced lifestyle and managing stress, you can keep your body's natural defenses strong and reduce your overall risk of disease. Conclusion Cancer is more than just a medical condition. It's a challenge that touches the hearts of millions, stirring a mix of fear, hope, and determination. In our journey through life, we're often reminded of the fragility of our health and the power of our choices. But what if I told you that there are steps we can take right now to not only embrace life fully, but also armor ourselves against this formidable adversary. This video is not about false promises or guarantees. It's about empowering each of us with knowledge and actionable steps to significantly lower our cancer risk. We're all in this together, navigating the complexities of health and wellness, and it's my privilege to share this journey with you. So if you're ready to take a stand for your health, join me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment below to become a part of our health-conscious community. Together, let's embark on this vital journey.